Yo, what up, day and night gang? It's your boy AM coming to you with an AM PM unboxing video. Yo, today's unboxing is this really awesome, really cool, really special play date. Look at that, it's so yellow. See you in a bit. All right, we have our handy dandy knife to open up any package that stands in our way. And today what we got here is the play date. This thing came in at the beginning of this week. It was uh, kind of like a Kickstarter thing that they did um, online. And what makes this thing pretty cool is there's like a little Game Boy, which is pretty awesome. So it was developed uh, by Panic and then so they made a little ecosystem for this little device and what really kind of sold me was this crank as you can hear on the side it's a cool little design that you can play games that are basically in like black and white or use like you know a monochrome type of display like similar to an old game boy and so i thought it was cool i wanted to try it out and look at it and so i ended up getting this little handheld and I'm excited to even play it everything around the marketing of it as well as the videos that I saw was like all of my alley I like indie games I like you know really funky devices and things like that so this hit the spot for me and everything so what we have here is a front of the box on the top we got play date in the back we have just some like cool little you know text that's talking about the actual device and there's pretty much the rest of the packaging what we're going to do is we're going to crack this open and see what's inside so right here i got my handy dandy knife that will slice through this plastic cellophane and we'll just get right into it easy look at that cool it's just so nice I can't wait to unbox this thing. I'm just like so excited. Well, let's take the blade off screen and let's just slide it open. Okay. Wow. wow. Oh my gosh, it looks so awesome. Ooh, that's cool. Look at the back of the box. Or back at the top, it has like a little protective sleeve for the device. First impressions, overall, this thing looks pretty slick. Second thing, I like how they did the packaging. I mean, they could just put it like in a smaller box, but they actually gave you, you know, a larger box so they can make the presentation a little bit better. You have a cutout here on the side to pull the device, and then right here you have the instruction book. Oh, it's not an instruction book. It's actually the, the cable to actually give this device power. And then down below, what we have is the actual instructions. We typically don't read this because as a gamer we automatically know how to use these devices but overall this unboxing has been pretty nice and pretty pretty cool i think it's pretty slick um it'd been nice that these little twisties were yellow but you know you can't blame them they probably didn't want to pay the extra money for the unique color as you know that can be spendy when you're manufacturing thousands of these things but look at this cable it's a USB-C, and it has a USB-A on this side. It's a pretty decent length. I would say it's about maybe like, you know, three feet. Uh, USB-C to charge the device, also connect to your computer, download games, and all types of things. Let's pull out this thing. Wow, this thing is so small. This is my hand for scale, as you can see. The device is actually pretty tiny. Initial button presses. Actually, you know, the little D-pad is pretty cool. And then the little buttons are pretty nice. Top of the device, you have the power button. And then in the back of it, you got the little play date as well as some information. And then down below, you have a little speaker as well as a headphone jack, I believe. And your USB-C. And so that just plugs right into the device, connects to your computer, download games, power up the device, all those types of things. And then right here is the star of the show. I guess this is the speaker grill right here. I don't know what the bottom of that is. Maybe it's like another a speaker for you. But there's this little hand crank that you can use to play games. And so that's what they use to like kind of differentiate between this and other handheld devices that you can get. 
This thing is pretty slick. I like how small it is. It's so tiny and so cute. This is awesome. Let me just turn it on and see if it works. I press the power button and it seems to like juice up. Maybe you gotta hold it for a second. Typically, he would read his instructions about this, but apparently this one doesn't, um, it's not have a, the battery's not fully charged, so I'll have to plug it in. But overall, I think it looks pretty great. I mean, I think it's a little screen cover for this thing to protect it. But overall, I think the feel of it's nice. The plastic is very soft. The metal feels very premium. Overall, it's just like, you know, really small little device. It's pretty cool. So let's put this out of the way. And then what we have here is a second unboxing experience for us. What we have here is a Playdate cover. So I ordered one of these things so I can make sure that my device is protected at all times. I'm a person that likes to put covers on all, the, all of your devices, iPads, iPhones, all those types of things. And so this one's a cute one that was made by Panic, and so I decided to pick this one up. You know, has all their normal insignias on it, and it has a little text in the back telling you why you should get a cover. And then let's pop this open and check it out. What makes this thing very unique is that the fact that this thing has like a little magnet on the back from what I was told. And then it just automatically snaps on. I guess it's not, it's not on the back, it has these little holes where the magnet goes into it. So if you can look at that, it just pops right into the, to the device. Um, it's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be, but we did. All right, so it's in there and then it closes up as, as is. Pretty cool, look at that. And then you can just pull it out and then you can start playing if you want to. Use that to cover the screen and you're all good to go. Maybe I don't need a screen protector. Maybe I'll just go as is because yeah, I have this little cover here to be used. Um, yeah, but I'll just take it off for the moment. Put that to the side and we'll put this right here in the middle. And then we're going to do what we usually do for all of our unboxing videos is give this thing a little bit more pizzazz. So what I want to start off with is an explosion. Space, confetti, smoke, bomb, stars, fire. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for this unboxing video. Hope you like it. It's pretty cool. I like this device. And what you're gonna see next is just my review of what I think about this little portable gaming system. Okay, hey, welcome back. You just saw me unbox this really nifty, really cool, really awesome Playdate. And right now we're here for the review. What I like to do is do pros and cons of what I like about this particular product. And then I give you a final rating. Let's start with the cons of the Playdate. The one thing that I don't particularly like about this little device is that it's kind of small so as you can see right here this is the size of my mitt and this is the size of the device so like hand to device ratio you know my mitts actually outweigh it quite a bit second thing i don't like about this device is that this device doesn't have a backlit screen which is kind of disappointing because when you want to play this at night you don't even have the ability to like see what you're looking at so it's basically an only the day device and so I don't know if I like that quite a bit. All right, so now what we're gonna do is the pros of the play day. So what I want to do is kind of give you what I like particularly like about this thing. And the first thing I like about it is the screen. The screen, even though it is not backlit, what's really awesome about it is that it's really sharp and very detailed. There's several games that I do play on this thing and the text is like really fine but you know there's never an issue of like resolution in terms of like not being able to read it and so like the pixel density on the little tiny screen it may not be as large as some other devices but it's very readable and with it's like you know black and white aesthetic it's kind of enjoyable to like look at it brings you like nostalgia vibes of like the old game boy and other handheld devices second thing i particularly like 
about the Playdate is actually the ecosystem in which um, all the games are built around. So it's 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 so the device itself is not necessarily you know comparable to like other handheld um, gaming systems like the Steam Deck or the Switch or anything like that. It's its own little thing. The processing power on this thing is not as powerful as those other devices, but what it does is makes it. Um, its own unique flavor and so when you play a game on the play date It's gonna be unique to this device and in which each week has been passing I've been getting two new games and just trying them out Has been really cool and then you know you can some games take the little the little cranky on the side others don't and This little crank is not necessarily like a game changer. It's just a cool little you know device that gives it like a lot of character and the last thing that I particularly like about this device is that it has like, you know, the build quality on it is really awesome. So this is like, you know, designed by um, Teenage Engineering. And so like it has, every little piece on it is just, you know, feels really good and very tactile in the hands. The button presses feel really good. The little D-pad works really well. Crank is awesome. I mean, I've like played a game and just like spun the crap out of this thing. Now, what do I think about this in terms of like a numeric score overall? I'm gonna give this thing a 7.7. .7. I think it's, if you were to buy one of these things and like just get into the ecosystem of just playing different types of games on it, I think it is really enjoyable. If you like what you see, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you love it, you better hit that sub button and let us know in the comments what are the things you wanna see unboxed on AMPM unboxing and other than that i give you peace